Well, another lovely day in paradise. Um, actually, it's been kind of nice out here. It's been in the 70s. It's supposed to get to 70 today. And next week, uh, snow. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we've been having a pretty good uh, fall. Uh, not too much uh, cold weather. Uh, unfortunately, that means that... Uh, there's no snow in the mountains <laughs> so hopefully that'll get fixed uh coming up this week anyway been working on the svj so uh let's go take a look and and see some of the things that we've done so i've been doing a lot of work up front here uh, mainly to do with this uh fender been getting gaps i've got some relatively tight gaps for the um for the uh, hood, um, worked on getting the gaps around the headlight um, a little bit better. Um, starting to work on the front here and uh, straightening out some of the issues that we can see on the front uh, valance. Still have to get uh, this off and get it body worked in general. Um, this line is looking pretty good uh, same with the headlight here been doing a lot of work on uh, kind of relieving stress on this here this was actually bowed in because of the underlying structure so um, this was pretty warped um, this this uh, gap here uh, so basically I just cut this off and then uh, re-glassed it in so that it sits flush. Um, that took out a lot of the stress and bow of this uh, rocker panel and that allowed us to basically have a door that fits just really nice. Looks nice and straight. Um, been working on these lines here trying to get them all nice and straight, get nice gaps for the door. Still have a little work to do there. Um, and then we can move on to the rear end. I've been doing some body work on the rockers themselves. <clears throat> uh, mainly been doing quite a bit of work on uh, Frenching in these uh, tail lights. I've done that side and I've done this side. So had to kind of fill in a small gap there, uh, no big deal. Uh, but I think they fit in there real nicely now. Um, so those are looking pretty good. Uh, we got these uh, body worked down so that they're getting ready for um, carbon fiber. <clears throat> Same with these uh, front little wings up here and also the uh, kind of splitter. Up here we've got those all ready to go uh, next in the list that gets carbon fiber would be these guys and um, these basically uh, quarter windows that actually don't have a window in them um, so all of that's going to be done this uh, basically just kind of moving back <clears throat> getting some things uh, some details done I'm going to put another lip underneath here so that this plastic piece can sit on top of that. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. And the other thing I've done is I've uh, redid this piece on the door card. I still have some uh, business to handle up here. Uh, put in some more um, filling uh, this kind of area here so that we get nice tight uh, lines but um, yeah so once the kind of foam and the leather go on here they should match the dash nicely uh, so that's kind of some interior work I'm going to save um, a lot of the interior work for when it starts getting cold because um, I've got these A pillars to take care of um, and basically they need to be body worked and then we can put some leather on them. And I still have over there to do. 
But yeah, this is looking pretty nice. I'm much happier with this uh, gap. Um, and the nice thing is, is that the door fits snug. So here you go. I put a about an inch lip all the way around in fiberglass. And then now we're gonna body work that and put it back on the car. So the other thing that I did was I glassed a piece here um, and then some dura glass and stuff to fill in spots so that should be all done so let's get at it So, there you go. Got this baby in here. Uh, it's mating up nicely. Um, again, with foam and everything. It'll uh, go in there. And uh, I think it'll match really well. Um, so, pretty happy with that. You saw this go in. Um, still have some adjustments to make um, here. Uh, but, um, in general, the glass will go to this ridge here. So uh, it might be where it is, but I think I need to bevel down underneath here a little bit. So this sits a little bit flatter. Uh, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with the way it's going. Well, uh, that black plastic piece is just not gonna work. Um, so went in, went ahead and made a cardboard template and then uh, did a fiberglass piece so basically I've looked at all of the uh, Lamborghini parts that I have uh, for the frunk surround and they're just not gonna work with what I've got so I'm gonna have to make my own which no big deal because it'll be nice and bespoke uh, meaning that it'll fit the car really really well so yeah so this has got about <coughs> four layers of fiberglass on it I'll have a little lip here to connect with the uh, window surround and then we'll be able to figure out how to mount some of the other things. Then I got to do these side pieces and then a front one. Uh, so <coughs> it shouldn't take too long. This didn't take long at all. It took maybe, I spent maybe an hour on it. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, going pretty well. Um, really digging uh, the gaps and everything. I think they're getting really close to where um, I want them. And uh, just gonna keep hammering away at it. Well, that's it for today. I'm, I'm pooped. <laughs> uh, I've been doing a lot of sanding and uh, hand sanding and uh, all the fiberglass work that I had to do today. Um, anyway, it's just been a really nice day, so it's a great time to uh, bang this stuff out so 
anyway, um, let me know what you guys think, um, you know, uh, about uh, having to not use the uh, Lamborghini uh, cowl piece, but, you know, it is what it is. I'm not going to be too burned about it like, like I was about, you know, the straight the the straight line for the doors that was just bugging me so anyway thanks again for watching guys like and like and subscribe we'll see you next time bye